Hello and good morning friends. Happy Friday. Hope you all are having a great Friday so far. Uh, so I guess you'll notice it's just me right now. So sorry, sorry about that. Uh, actually, uh, as you know, Richard is uh, working from home and uh, he does have a lot of stuff that he has to do. And he's been able to be here for every stream for like over a month, which I'm just so impressed and thrilled about but he does have a big uh job due today very soon so he will be joining us a little later in the stream but he's just not here right now so uh yeah um hey so i'm gonna go ahead and give a, a shout out to everybody i see johnny cats here how's it going johnny good to see you as always and of course i have to take my glasses off for this part uh, let's see, Noob Master 69, Joshua Zender, uh, Insane Lego Fan, I know he had to leave, ET Videos, uh, let's see, who else, B Ledbetter 95, uh, is, oh goodness, there's still lots of people here early, uh, Zarakino is here, look, here's Richard to quickly say hello. Hi everyone, uh, I um, only have a minute because I have to have a drawing done in, what, 20... 20 minutes. So 27 let's, minutes, let's but I am going to wear a Disney pin today. I'm going to wear R2-D2. Oh, that was yesterday's, actually. Oh, your sorry, your I, new I'm one sorry, is here. C3, I'm wearing C-3PO today. No, no. And I'm feeling the need of a little pixie dust today, so I've got... She's there. Tinkerbell going so, on. I wanted to say I'm very excited about everyone's submissions for the challenge, and I want to be here when Flynn and I look at them together yeah, you know, and so, talk about them. So I think we're going to do that Monday. Well, I think maybe we can right? try it a little later oh, wait, today. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay, or later so today. We're we'll, gonna, we'll try, um, but I have to get these drawings out, so I'm going to run away. All right. Bye. Bye. So yeah, so we're gonna uh, we are gonna we are gonna aim for today if he can be done in time. If not, we will have to do it Monday. I apologize, everybody. I know everybody's excited about that. Minifig chick is here. Brickanista, Wilfred. Uh, let's see. Carcanos the dragon is here. Uh, Pink wheels three. Uh, golly, uh, Moto is here, of course. Remy Baker, Joshua Zender. I think I've said your name now like seventy-five times. <laughs> Brady Dedinger, uh, Cornado is here. Very good. Uh, let's see. Squirrel Girl 42. Wow, we got lots of friends here today. Frog Legs. Oh, that's somebody new I haven't seen before. Very nice. Welcome to the stream. Uh, goodness, let's see. Well, I'm going to scroll back real quick because I know Shane Levin is here. Hey, Shane, how's it going? Uh, I, I know that today is... Um, Jordan Zender's birthday. So Joshua and Jordan are longtime viewers of the stream and they always put, you know, you know send fun stuff and pictures in. So um, happy birthday to you today. And I would sing, but I don't think you're quite ready for that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. <laughs> uh, Man Myth Icon is here. Blair Archer. Hey, Blair. How's it going? Um, of course, Brickanista is here. Um, which reminds me, uh, do make sure and tune in on Sunday. Of course, we're not here tomorrow because it's Saturday. It's our day off. But tune in on Sunday for our special Mother's Day uh, broadcast group chat where we're going to have um, a bunch of, uh, of women builders from across like the spectrum of different things that they do within the brick community so really excited to talk to some people and as long as we can get it sorted out my mom will be making a special appearance I know you've seen her all day in the uh, you see her in the chat every once in a while but <laughs> she's gonna... hey John good morning oh from Iowa very cool nice good morning from Oakland uh, all right, so excellent. You're, you're welcome, Jordan. Happy, so happy birthday, and so glad that uh, you've been able to share uh, our streams with us. It's been, it's been really great. Uh, Lisa's here. Hey, Lisa. Uh, so, uh, I so in lieu of uh, doing like sort of our normal th things, is not only because you know usually the slideshow takes a little while. And then the, um, you know, and then the, the building kind of gets pushed off into the end. So we're going to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to start building. We are on only one instruction manual. And I'm not like, I'm sorry that Richard can't be here, but can I tell you that I'm secretly excited that I get to put together. Hey! <laughs> Shh! That I get to put together the Demogorgon. 
don't tell him. He'll be really upset. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So we're going to... Um, let's go ahead and switch to the overhead um, here for a second. Or actually, you know what? We're not going to switch to the overhead for a second. We're going to hang on a second while I adjust. Because that camera looks terrible. It's funny trying to sort of um, jet between two cameras all the time. Like there's all kinds of uh, like stuff that you got to do to keep it looking normal. And it doesn't always hold all of its uh, settings for some reason. So thanks for that Logitech with your weird software. <laughs> Still, I'm not going to complain. It's a really it's a really nice camera that we were lucky enough to come by. So there i'm gonna um actually i shouldn't say come by it was donated to us very kindly so uh let's see all right i'm gonna try one more little thing with this and see what it does for me there that's a little better all right so shall we get started shall we play a game i know this is so weird i don't have Richard to talk to and it seems I'm sure y'all are like oh, okay this is going to be interesting <laughs> I know, right um so he, I know honey so <laughs> um here is uh, the pieces of the demogorgon so we've got the legs that are the special kind of like bent backwards legs that they used for the fawn uh, minifigure uh, CMF that they did, which was so cool. Um, there is, a, you know, it's got the printing on the legs, no back printing, but it's got some pretty great, like it's got claws on there, all kind of stuff. All right, and we have a, um, here's the torso. It is back printed, super creepy. So we'll put those together. And then, I don't know, this is the kind of the most disturbing part, and it makes me think of Silent Hill whenever I see it, but um, the head, like the underneath head, has that like folded over, like the petals are all folded over its face. And then of course, you got the, the classic flower fang, <laughs> flower fang scenes. Wait, I do have Ms. Thing to talk to. I should bring her in for a little. She's been she's been taking some time off recently, I've noticed. There she is. <laughs> she's, got, she's excited about the Demogorgon too. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and see what's on our first page of instructions. Now, this says, oh, now here's something interesting, everyone. I went ahead and laid out all of this stuff ahead of time. I was like, oh, okay, these are these pieces and these are these pieces, all for bag number 10. And what I didn't realize is it, what it said in the instructions is 10, bags 10 and 11 are together. So you know what that means. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Richard, you can re- um, do this if you want but it also means since we're dipping into bag 11 that we have our 11 minifigure my goodness there's going to be a lot of pieces here i'm just going to go ahead and dump these out So, oh, so Minifig Chick says the, the cheapest that fig goes for is $13. You know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, do I have any recommendation for any set that's under that's $55 or under? Well, you know what? It really depends on what, what you like. I always find Ninjago sets um, a lot of fun to build. Um, so I'm constantly... Uh, I, I will buy them even if I don't necessarily love everything about that particular build um i do i will always find something something to like so um now we've got our little trays here courtesy mr dershel of oakland <laughs> who sent a package to ms thing actually and you know i don't see eleven's torso or her hair right off the bat oh nope there it is there's her hair and you know 
I feel really bad that Richard can't be here, and I got to do the Demogorgon, so I'm gonna save the 11 minifigure for him to put together, which I think is a totally fair deal. <laughs> yeah, oh, the green, yeah, the, that green dragon set is really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, but you know, I th you know, as, as far as like what's a good, you know, a good set for something in a, in a certain price range, I would just say like go for themes that you like. I mean, I can tell you what I like, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're gonna be into. But um, there's a lot, um, there's a lot out there. So I just look for the, I look for themes, and for fifty five bucks you can get a pretty decent one. Now I will tell you if you buy non-IP stuff, and when I say IP, I mean intellectual property, so like Harry Potter, Disney, um, any of the Star Wars, all that, those are always going to be more expensive than the stuff that Lego does themselves, like, um, uh, like Ninjago, um, and those kinds of things. Oh, and I found, ah, I found, um, Eleven's skirt. She has, like, a little pink skirt. Personally, I'm going to display her without the wig on. <laughs> yeah, Creator is also a good buy. Hey, Holly, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, is Eric Kino here? Dallas Rich. Very nice. So I'm just trying to get my last little uh, bowl in order here. And oh, I think I'm going to have to duck back here. And you can kind of see our, here in the background, you can see our entries for the... Um, for the challenge, you know, we always we always do the challenges too, and it's never until the end. So, um, so Alyssa says that you can get a deluxe brick box for under fifty dollars and build whatever you want. That's very true. That's um, I think that's a really great idea. That's how we, you know, besides buying the bulk stuff, like that's how we started out um, when we were doing it. Is we would we bought like a huge, one of the really huge ones. But yeah, for for under fifty five bucks, you can get uh, fifty five bucks and under. There's a lot of really cool stuff that you can get. Um, all right, so it looks like oh no oh wow okay everybody this is uh, this is going to be a little more intense than I thought so it seems to me it seems according to the instructions that the first thing that we're going to do and see you can definitely tell Richard's not here because my pieces are all just piled up in a <laughs> in an ugly pile but I do have my I do have my bowls so there you can mark off your bingo card for that. Um, but anyway, it looks like the first thing that we're going to do is clip the thing together. And I know that uh, some people were asking about, uh, were saying that it was difficult for them, and they were hoping that we were going to show it. So <laughs> I can't promise you that I'm going to do this perfectly, because it does look like it's a, a bit um, difficult. Or at least, I should say tricky, but we are tricky bricks, so we should be able to handle it, right? Uh, I'm going to pull out these, and I'm going to pull out these awesome dark brown branches. And I know we talked about them before, but we ordered these as soon as this set came out. We couldn't afford the set, but we could afford to order some of the brown leaves. And it's re it's really cool. Flynn is, is a gnawing anarchist, and I am here for it. <laughs> Thanks. What can I say? I, uh, as long as it's a manageable pile, I'm fine. <laughs> as long as it's a manageable pile. All right, so it looks like we're starting off with these little um, these little ball hinge guys here. I mean, you know how we feel about ball hinges. So we're going to have these little ball hinges. We're also looking for some pin to studs. And if you don't use... Um, Technic very much and you're interested in using Technic but you don't like the way the Technic looks for whatever reason you know like it's it looks like a built building under construction or whatever you can use these they're called pin to studs so there's a pin on one end and it ends in a stud here and you can put those in these holes and then use it to hold on um, that like this and that's actually um, what that's what we did on on Lego Masters for our clock build, our Clockman build. We built a whole sort of um, truss out of Technic and then covered it over with plates to give it a more like wooden feeling. So, all right. But anyway, in this case, we're going to use them to decorate these, uh, you know, to kind of cover up the ball hinges. 
Which, you know, I always say that, um, that building Lego mocks and Lego models is, and probably I'm going to guess designing them, um, it's always like, a, is this gonna work? Is this not gonna work? Let's try it this way. No, no, not working. Uh, well, I'll try it this way. Um, but what I but what I always say is that um, but building a Lego mock or model is like decorating a cake. So I used to be a cake decorator, and it was always all about like building what you needed out, like the construction portion of it, like making the structure of the cake and making sure it was had frosting all over it and everything. And then the rest of it was just <laughs> like a series of covering up your mistakes literally or like you know the flaws so is there a little place where the frosting didn't get the rest of it smooth and you got a little hole put a flower there <laughs> like if it looks awful i mean that's why they invented um you know the frosting that goes around the bottom of a cake is just to cover that like area where the cake meets the board <laughs> so let's let me check in um let's see oh if you can't find where the poster for Barb goes. It's on the side on the on the left tree. It was impossible to find. <laughs> awesome. Um, all right, let's see. Zach Martinez. Oh, Zach Martinez is here. Good morning. How's it going? Good to see you. Um, so I've made my two little ball hinges here and now, okay, I am going to bravely um, do this here. I was not expecting if I'm being honest, I'm not, I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> so. Which is, what a funny thing to say. I don't know why I say that if I'm, you know, I'm being honest, because I'm, you know, I'm being honest with you. I'm going to go find a thing. I'm nervous about this. All right. Here we go. And I am going to, I still that, um, Little thing. All right, Ms. Thing, you're going to have to take a break. Have some coffee. Mm. How are you doing? A cupcake from a bakery would be really amazing. I'm doing all right. How are you doing in there? Good. I'm actually, I think I'm going to be able to get this in on time. Hooray! He says he thinks he'll be able to get it in on time. That's great. And then we'll be able to um, have him back. And hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, we're crossing fingers. Um, all right, so you can see that I've now put the two buildings on one half on top of the other half, and we built in these um, these cup for the ball hinges here and here, okay? And now we're going to, oh, and check this piece. I don't I didn't get to show you this piece, but I love these little sprouts. They're like... Um, Sorry, I'll do this. Like the carrot tops, but they're black. That's one of the things I love about this set. It's got so many pieces and cool colors. All right, so I'm going to pop this ball hinge in. All right. And then another one goes here. And I don't know. Yes, and they both face with the extra ball piece because you notice there's three balls on here. The one faces the side. There we go. All right. Wow, I love that filling up the screen, right? How crazy. <laughs> it's cool. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Okay, so now we're going to do two more. Um, but this time, instead of doing the... Um, instead of doing the branches on these ones, it looks like we're using one by one clear or maybe it's that smoky color i don't know but it looks like they're transparent pieces now if i can't find these right away i'm just gonna sort of oh there they are so i was gonna say i'll just skip forward until um until richard's back and we can share the duties all right here we go so I've got the, yeah, it's that smoky, you know, gray color. So, or actually, I believe it's technically called trans black. Um, all right, so you can see here, now I'm gonna turn this up and it's gonna go out of focus, I apologize, but you can see here where we have more ball acceptors, right, on the sides. And I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna add one 
over here on this this place to lock it together. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What? I love you. Yeah, I love you too. You got this. You got this. And then it looks like there's another one. Um, here? Yes. Here, I just gotta make sure that it's all pointed in the right direction. All right, so there we go. All right, so I've now clipped the whole front and, the, and this one side together. I think this looks really cool, I'm so excited. Um, let's see. Oh, we're going to have a party at our Lego store when it reopens, though I still intend to keep my distance for a while. Yes, ag agreed. <laughs> agreed. Um, and hey, good morning, Marilyn. Welcome. Um, if you are joining us late, just letting everybody know that Richard has a project that he's working on, which is why he's not here right now, but he's going to join us in a little bit. And when he does, we will be um, doing the slideshow of everybody's sci-fi builds. All right, so now that I've clipped this together, oh look, check out the inside too. Now that I've clicked, uh, clipped this together, it's having me put it aside again. So this is gonna be interesting storage. You can store it on its back, but some of the stuff likes to, um, likes to flip over. So it looks like, now everybody we're going to start working on the tree supports so very excited about that and here is where being um this is this comes into where being a knolling anarchist um can sometimes you know be difficult just finding these finding the little pieces um i tried to split it up in what i knew were like the the different colors of the different sides um, as much as possible when I was dividing them up here. I can't tell if this is black or dark brown. I think that's dark brown. There's like a one by four and a one by three that look like they are dark brown to me. Um, and they need, oh, interesting. I wonder where these are gonna come in. Everybody check this out. So. Um, this is one of those pieces like they used for Unikitty. Um, it is like flat with a pinhole on one side and then it's got studs on the underside or you know where there would normally be holes. There's studs. <coughs> so that's pretty cool. All right. Where I still don't see where my one by three and my one by four are. <laughs> Let's see, these are all bigger pieces. All right, let's look in the bowls. It's time for bowls. I think I'll help myself out by taking these awesome dark blue leaves out of here and putting them aside. And check these black seaweed pieces are great. I love these seaweed pieces. I used some of the transparent green ones in my, um, in my sci-fi build. So pretty excited about that. So we'll put those plants aside. And let's go ahead and pull out all, I know this isn't very exciting, sorry y'all. <laughs> let's just pull out. Um, oh, I meant, to, I meant to tell you, if you have any questions for our round table of all women builders on Sunday on Mother's Day, please send them to Flynn at trickybricks.com. Any questions you would have that I could pose to the group would be awesome. Um, we definitely have some things we're gonna talk about and some things we're gonna touch on, but it would really be, I would really love to hear what you're interested in hearing uh, from them. So yeah, drop me an email, Flynn at trickybricks.com. All right, here we go. I found my dark brown pieces. Oh no, curses! I was, I, I, it was that, it was that Unikitty piece. It's like a decoy. That's what Richard calls them, decoys. You're like, I know that it looks just like that, but it is a little. I gotta say, it's a little tricky to see here in the um, in this particular light. But I, I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna. I don't see any one by three, so I'm gonna assume that it's this one that has the plate on the bottom. I'm just gonna guess. If anybody knows different, you please feel free to shout it out and let me know. Um, remote membership and a lug. I think actually. Um, I think 
They may already be working on something like that. I'm not sure. Lego stores. I'm definitely looking forward to Lego store coming back. All right. So we've got, uh, let's see where we're at here. So I'm looking for one of those little, it's like a wedge plate like this, and then it's got a little square cutout in it. And um, it's always, wow, y'all, I'm just lost without Richard. <laughs> and that is a true statement, like not only for the stream, but like completely across our lives. Um, I, it's, it's, it's hard to do things when he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess part of it too is I'm not I'm not wearing I'm not wearing my glasses. There we go. Um, what can I, what am I talking to Lego about? I that I saw well, I don't. Maybe I can tell. I think he, I think maybe I don't have as much pull with Lego as you think I do. <laughs> I don't, um, you know, I definitely know some people who work there and stuff like that, um, but I'm not really. And you know, who knows, who knows that if somebody from Lego isn't watching this stream right now uh, and, and hearing what you're saying, because I do know um, that there are some people, there are some people from Lego who watch the stream. I'm just saying. Um, so who knows? Who can say? All right, so I found my little, I found that little piece that I was talking about, and then I'm going to attach this. Uh, one by four, and it's asking for a gray corner. And there it is. Yeah. It's gonna go here like this. Now I'm assuming we're building sort of like the sides of a tree. Uh, okay, so here is a piece. I know I've talked before about really loving this piece. And um, here we go. And using it for trees. Now they're using it differently the way um, like that. Oh, good luck at the gas station. Wear a face covering and be very careful. All right, Liam. All right, so I'm going to put this. It's this rounded plate with a, with a little bar on the end that you can attach clips to, which you can then attach the clips to branches, and it's like a whole thing. So I'm going to put these here. I'm also putting some here. And now it wants dots. Or one by one round plates. <laughs> so I'm hoping that Richard will be back and he'll be able to do st um, his sticker time show and tell because I know he prepared for it um, with stickers from a set that we've actually built before. So you'll get to see those again. Um, all right, let's see. That looks pretty good, right? All right, so it looks like I'm gonna now pull, um, doing another sub build. I've got here. I've got here. I need three dark brown bricks, and I think they're the ones that have this axle hole in them. Again, with these, the dark brown bricks and in the instructions are very hard to see, but I think that that's what it, uh, it, I think that's what it looks like. Yeah, and then it's asking for a one by six black piece. All right, so this will be interesting. We'll get to see kind of how these trees are constructed. So it's having me take this brick and then it is indeed the one with the axle hole in it. I'm putting it this way. Then I'm adding another one on facing upwards. All right, like that. And then I'm going to attach a one black stick there, a Technic beam. <laughs> and yes, um, and you can mark off your bingo card for using a ridiculous made up name for parts now. <laughs> and then it's having me attach another one of those bricks here. So this is interesting. It's it's built such that now we have a vertical uh, Technic beam with these two bricks on the bottom connected this way. So you would be you will if there's I'm imagining plates are going to go here and you'll be able to just put this right down on something. Uh, and indeed, um, 
you can see how I put this little piece together. And I don't know if you can see it, but they, they left a little gap here. And that is gonna be used to accommodate this part of the Technic beam that sticks out past the bricks on the bottom, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so like this, I believe. Yeah, so there we go. There's the base of a tree. That was a pretty cool little construction, I gotta say. Um, all right, it's asking for three more of those. Since I can't find any one by three dark brown, I'm just gonna assume that every time we see one, it's one of these ones with the tile on the bottom, and I think it is. Um, so it's asking for three of those, and we're gonna add on three of these in the center. Hey, everybody, look who's back! Hooray! Hey, everyone. <laughs> I got the drawings out. I had a good meeting with my boss. He's in his meeting now, so I'm gonna take my break. Yay! Um, but I just have a couple quick things to do, and then I'll join you and can... Wow, what is going on here? I know, I'm getting... We're making bases of trees. I so what knew. have you got to do real quick? Because I know everybody's uh, I'm just dying for you to come back, especially me. Um, well, I'm going to um, <laughs> brush my teeth. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Then we can get up close and personal. Okay, so I've added on those little tiles here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, good. I just got a question for our builders on um, Sunday. So excited, y'all. That's going to be great. Um, it, so when, when Richard gets back, we will do sticker time show and tell, and then we will do the slideshow, and then um, we will continue working on this. And you know, we really got to be done with this today, so if for some reason we don't get um, to it, we will finish it over the weekend, uh, and then present the full model at the top of the, of the, um, the stream on uh, Monday. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited for that. Whoops. I mean, I hope we get it done today, but, you know, the the slideshow takes a little while, and I don't know. I know we could stream forever, but, you know. Oh, don't worry, Brickanisa, we're not going to miss Logan cookie time. <laughs> the Unikitty played in dark brown. Okay, that's good. That's what I see here, but with our, you know, our studio lights and my glasses and the printing here, it was just making it hard to see, so. All right. And look, we talked about before about these little creepy tentacle pieces that pop up everywhere in this model. I love it. It's, it's really nice and creepy. It's so much fun. And I actually posted to our Instagram today, I posted a model that I made, or a vignette that I made last year with this like spooky family, kind of Adam's Family-esque. I love and, this model. Um, I ran across it and I posted the one today on Instagram. It was really fun, nice, um, a nice memory. So yeah, if you do have, um, if you do have questions for our uh, panel on Sunday, please drop those, Flynn at trickybricks.com and we will ask them. All right. I'm back. Huzzah. All right. Wow, look at so, this. We're just, it's a whole different kind of building. I know. So I think we're, <laughs> see, I'm already in trouble. No, not all at right. all. I do not disapprove. For the record, I wholly approve. <laughs> I feel like Mr. Rogers without his sweater today. I'm not wearing I know my you're not button wearing your button shirt. shirt. What's going on? I don't know. You know, it was okay, well, passed into the meeting. If you're ready for this, I'm going to go ahead and just call that we are at... <laughs> Sticker, Sticker set, set, show and tell, show everyone. And tell. All right, so here and here it is. What do we have today? Not so far into the Wayback Machine. If you look back, what was it, a week or two ago? <laughs> I we don't put even together know anymore. Set? I think it was like a month ago. Oh, now. I don't know. Time is really blending. But we put together this set. It was very exciting, and we didn't put the stickers on. So today, we're sharing the stickers. Flynn, oh, will you right. hold that I am up? the sticker. I am the, the it's, your, it's your new job. Is that in focus? Look at that. In, okay, don't get it any closer. There. There. Cool. This is from set 94259. Oh, no, that's the that's uh, for set 7326, The Rise of the Sphinx. 
the sticker set is 10 by 12 studs, um, and it was made in 2011. I know. I think we should use those pieces in our mocks. Yeah, well, I, we have a lot of Egyptian pieces now. It's about time. Plus, yep. we have those Anubis um, ones and uh, the minifigures and everything. I think we, like maybe we'll do some kind of um, Egyptian themed or some kind of like what? ancient oh maybe for the next um maybe for the next build thing this is a selfish choice but maybe for the, next uh -oh. build thing, uh -oh. for the next for, for next week's build challenge we could do like a you know um history like a historical scene of some kind something oh whoa whoa you all right yeah i just got like a vulcan neck pinch that was weird it worked <laughs> What did you make like a, a little Lego <laughs> Voodoo like doll? My mental. <laughs> did mental you do a is Vulcan right. neck pinch? Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> it didn't. All right. Um, so wait, where were we? Oh yeah, I was saying. Um, yeah, one you of your ahead. very early pieces was the Explorers Club, and I yes. thought, what if the Explorers Club actually went to Egypt for an adventure? Oh, that would be fun. Tell yeah, them about the um, Explorers Club. Oh, it was just, it was an early piece I did, and I, I don't know, I just had an idea for, um, oh, I had gotten, I had just gotten my first skeleton horse. <laughs> Who doesn't remember Who doesn't their remember first every, every, skeleton horse? Everyone remembers their first skeleton horse. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yes, you were talking about, uh, about the, the horse. Explorers Club. So, so I did this, I just imagined, like, what if the, there was, like, this Explorers Club, and they were, um... Uh, discovered this like skeletal um, like unicorn type you know with wings Pegasus unicorn thing um, so and then I really wanted it to be like an international club yeah. so I really did my best to like like have multiple different colors of minifigures and have all of them doing different things and have all of them kind of like be the you know like the exp the international explorer which is club. a challenge right it was a challenge especially at the time because i um we didn't really have a whole lot of um, a lot of minifigures so i ended up using um storm <laughs> i ended yeah, up and using aladdin <clears throat> and aladdin um and a few others but that was really um that was a lot of fun I really liked doing that one a lot. Now I'm well, uh, yeah. So I think we should take the Rise of the Sphinx oh, set and have them have an adventure. And have, sure, why not? Why not? Right. All right. So we're gonna do our. So what? I I think this is the way it should go. We're gonna do go back to our down camera. We're gonna build until Logan Cookie time, and then after Logan Cookie time, whoops. Uh, after Logan Cookie Time, we'll do okay. the slideshow. Does that and then sound good? Maybe people in the um, chat could respond to this. We've been building on on this set for a week now, right? Yeah. Um, and I don't know if people are getting tired of the set or if you want to see more building of it. Should we finish what we don't finish today our own, ourselves and then show you, or should we return to this set again? Well, I did. I actually mentioned earlier that maybe oh, we I would wasn't do... No, yeah, no, you weren't there for that part. That's okay. I just mentioned earlier that maybe, Ooh. you know, that was something that we wanted to do. <laughs> Just so that we weren't. This is so exciting. Don't we need like 200 of these? Yes, the black seaweed, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I always, that's right where I go. If it's a cool piece, I want like, we have to have 200. Because I used to think with bulk and all that, that 25 <laughs> was a lot, <laughs> you know? Uh, let's see. Okay. Don't you find you can go through 25 of the same piece pretty fast? Oh, really quickly. I, I learned that early on when ordering pieces what? in bulk. There's black sausages. Oh, we black know. sausages. There That's are, pretty awesome. There's a lug, a Lego users group called Sausage Lug, and for their um, for their logo, they have all of the different colors of Lego sausage. Yeah, I have a sticker somewhere. It's great. It's like a skull and cr with crossed sausages, and then there's like another one with multi sausages. I have it on my. I think I've got it on my brick badge from um, from Bricks Cascade. Yeah, we we met them in Portland, right? Yes, yes. I mean, we already knew some of them, but. All right, so let's see. Is this correct? Whoa, we've got a cape. No, that's, oh, it's a skirt that's 11 for 11. Skirt. I saved 11 for you. Thank you. For you to put together. Oh, I'm going to put, put her together, together right the, now. Well, here, let me do the close-up cam, and then you can do okay. close-up cam. Look and then you can, put her, you can put her together. She's got little short legs. 
Now, does she have the movable short legs? Like the oh, Harry she, Potter ones? see, she's not. Oh, she is wearing her dress, but with the jacket over it. Yeah, well, you have to put her skirt it's on her, her legs It's her first. revolutionary outfit for today. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe they're like tights. But, I, I mean, what do I know? I didn't costume the show. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to... Well, that would be a... F- Funny job I'm to have. Reach past Lego here. costume Oops. designer. Well, there is somebody who does I'm that. I'm sure. There's somebody who, d- I'm sure that's like their mm-hmm. whole job is that they design all the graphics for all the minifigures. I mean, actually, I know that's someone's whole job. A job that would be incredibly fun to do. And I also imagine. Um, I think quite I difficult. got this right. She's got kind of a little peplum, like. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. And you know what? I'm, it's like I'm a always, little detail. I'm always just amazed at how um, how much detail they can get on the on the prints. Now I gotta say, this is the eleven I know and love. Really, right not the here? bald one? No, look. Oh, there it is. The right, one. Okay, exactly. Sorry, right, maybe a little looking. bit of stubble. And does she get egos? She does. There is a waffle egos? tile. There is absolutely then, a waffle. Oh, so um, then Crystal the was the um, Crystal was the designer of these minifigs. That's right. You're. That's right, Holly. Um, a a uh, graphic designer at Lego that Holly knows, um, who worked on this set, which is we pretty can, cool. You can do this back on screen oh, okay. again if you want. Yeah, so I'm just I'm building more tree yeah. up, and I need okay. two one by one black cubes. So are we just gonna? Oh, I see. We're no longer building halves of the house because when I wasn't here, I you assembled it the to, house. I, well, mostly clipped it with together. With help, right? Uh, with help from with, the instructions. With, with advice. No, I heard that it was tough. Oh yeah, well I had just mentioned I had somebody. I can't remember if it was Jen Reynolds or somebody the other day was hoping that we were going to show putting it together on on yeah. screen. Um, a Lego Ego, it's true. Um, did you find the, the Ego by Le- chance? Lego, Lego, my Lego, I had to say. You did have to. I agree. All right, so... Wow, I never really thought of smoky, translucent pieces as spooky before, but this set certainly changed that. <laughs> That's great. Indeed. I want a bunch of these. So, do we have... Two wrenches. Is there a theme here? You know what's so funny? What is it? How what is so s- funny? How would you... S- well, I find it funny. Yeah. What, what is it? What would you say is your balance between having a great, like, want for sets? Like, you get excited about sets versus getting excited about bricks? Like, for me, I'm so excited when I see all these parts, like, all these things I hold up to the camera. Like, like dark tan... Wolverine claws. <laughs> yeah, for the. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't great get it. for like grass. For the, here, you can put those on. He's on the on the Demogorgon. Oh yeah. So I get so excited about pieces, and other than this set, I don't. I was excited about Women of NASA too. He checked this. Oh, sorry. I'm you, getting to finish the Demogorgon. Thank yeah. you, Flynn. So, so remember I was telling you all that we built in those rounded and plated clips? Uh, I just did a, a branch with a wrench in it, and now that's going to clip onto that. Well, I'm certainly so that learning, we can have an angle. I'm learning more from Lego about how to make um, how to make tree branches more rugged. Like they really do lock them in pretty well. You can always learn something from a Lego set, in my personal opinion. Well, they make our art supplies. That's and, true. And one of our major forms of entertainment. So everybody, I guess, uh, guess what time it is. It's that what special time, time of the day. It? It's that special time of the day. And then we're going to take a break from this and do our slideshow. I'm very um, excited about the slideshow. I'm very excited about too. And let's see, do we have all of our, I think you have the um, protective the gear over there. Yeah, we're just going to put them on here for now. You know, we need to have like a padded blanket. Oh, we do. So, oh, so um, Chase Tran is asking, what is your favorite Lego set? So I really love the, I, I really love the Disney castle. You can see it um, behind us. You can us. see it behind us. I also really love the Ninjago City set I thought was amazing. And then, of course, Monster Fighters Haunted House is my absolute favorite. And for me, I love the Monster Fighters Haunted House, but we're building my favorite set right now. Yeah. So the, yeah, absolutely. You've been waiting a long time for this. I have, yes. And you know what everybody else has been waiting a long time for? Logan Cookie Time. All right, why don't you get our special guest? That's right, friends. <laughs> Thank you.
That's right, everyone. It's no, Logan Logan's cookie time. He's um oh he's being yeah. Where I'm trying to get him to calm there down. Here we go. Here we go. You know where to come. It's right your big there, entrance. You know. there Don't he is. Eat eleven. Yeah, please. Well, he wouldn't. You know, he, he wouldn't. only eats. No. He only Although, eats mega blocks. I and found absolutely more pure. I'm not mega joking. blocks yesterday. <laughs> Don't tell everyone our secret shame. Well, they definitely got they they got thrown Look, out. It's loaded! <laughs> Yay! That was almost a major disaster. You can't yeah, do that. I went, I went like this, right? Which normally when I'm standing means put your paws up here. But he tried to jump <laughs> up on the table. Um, so <laughs> Dylan says, um, no do coffee. I like Brickmaster Jamie? I do like Brickmaster Jamie quite a bit. I feel like he um, he's, well, first of all, of course, incredible masterful designer uh in lego and he started off a lego fan just like all of us and yeah um i just i have so much respect for him and his work and um i thought he was i thought that both jamie and amy had really difficult jobs to do and that they i thought they tackled them admirably in my opinion i think very highly about both of them i mean i it's been a long time since i left college and i used to have this you know i won't say reverence but you know like just made respect for my art teachers in college and that was kind of my experience of the Brickmasters too I found them to be very personable and funny um, but their advice on you know we were making these art projects um, yeah. was just amazing so I respect them like teachers I've learned a lot from both of them <laughs> oh, Holly says I think Skittles knows what knows what time it is to do. <laughs> he just came running oh Skittles yay <laughs> um, we switched now to yes uh, Logan's Logan. little white Paul's are great. Oh, and you know what? On yes. Monday, I have to have to show y'all um, Nathan, Nathan Hagen's, Hagen's. Um, Lego Logan with the little white paws. It was oh my goodness, it's so cute. I love it. Okay, um, all right. So here, real quick, and I, mean, I want I want T-shirts with Logan Lego with, with, with Lego. Lego Logan. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll add them onto our Redbubble store. How about that? All right, all right. So I have to do a little fancy footwork here to get our slideshow going. Okay. Um, Good luck. Thank you. I'm I'm a little nervous. All right, so let's head on over to oh, our look slide show. So this <laughs> is nicely done. Um, yeah. So this is our um, we did a 16 by 16 sci-fi challenge, um, and uh, and so and everybody Ooh. sent in. We got some explanations here. So uh, real quick. Oh, sorry. Z uh, Zarakina is asking. Um, Since your dog can't have treats, I gave my kitty a treat. That's perfect. Um, uh, Riley always Yay. wants a bottle. Everybody's getting into Any it. Any pets. It's amazing. Any and pets. If you have an iguana, give it some lettuce. And then they asked um, what my shirt was. It's yep. actually Vincent Price. Um, my friend Tina gave it to me. Um, and it's got all, uh, like, a bunch of his different characters. I can't imagine trying to cram uh, all of them in. Our and friend then his, Shawnetta. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm very, I'm all enthusiastic now. Our friend Shawnetta has been posting this Vincent Price treasure hunt <laughs> online. Like, every day. Day he posts a few different crazy Vincent Price pictures. All right, it's great. So let's so get started. About shall this we? amazing model in front of us. I love how colorful it is. All right, so this in is space. Avernus Workshop's terraforming starship. I love it. It's great. Got the, the so it's essentially like a micro build. And yeah, I love yeah. that it has the like the rays of the terraformer coming out of the bottom and like hitting the ground. It's really great. Yeah, and the sort of star field around it too. Well, and also if you notice it's around great. the edge, it's all black and orange, and then where it's terraforming, it's all green. Oh, I and, see, see, and see. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's terraforming in a nice way, not in a destructive well, way. I think terraforming is awesome. Well, not I wouldn't want someone really to like like World, War of the Worlds because that's what they were doing. Well, I'm thinking a little bit more Gene Roddenberry, <laughs> right? Just a saying. little more, a little more <laughs> utopian. Like, like yeah. let's pick a rock that's completely uninhabited and terraform that. Okay, so this is, this next one is by um, Cornado. And it's like oh, a little a speeder, speeder, like a little speeder, speeder bike, fun. Little, I love it. And you can kind of see the scale of it by, by against the keyboard. I think yeah, the great. lines and the curves. This is that's exactly my favorite scale of spaceship and little speeder. I'm so bad at spaceships. It's just so not my thing. I've tried I and I, I just get flummoxed. I, it's weird. I can't. I just I don't think 
thinking that way. Well, I have to admit to being a little intimidated about making spaceships, but I really want to make them, so I keep making them. Oh, Cornado, you said this isn't yours. I'm so sorry. You know, there's a... It's, Who's this? It's a lot of... I apologize. It's a lot of um, pictures and stuff, so I don't know why that's happening right now. Um, huh. it's, a lot, it's a lot of pictures and stuff to put in, so I'm so sorry. Um, please... I may Thanks, have mixed Johnny yours Cat. and... Oh! I see what I did. It's all oh, in good. it's all in alphabetical order and I got your name up further in the um I, I put things out not in alphabetical order in my email. Sorry. This is Brandon and this is Brandon's oh, Lego hover bike. I think we can get back on track now. Okay. <laughs> Brandon, let us know if it's not yours. Yeah, I please. Really, I really like all the details in this and the curves. Now, I, I, I know not only is it in alphabetical order, but it's Batman. So I think we all know who this is from. This is from Brickanista. Um, and she, she says, introducing the latest member of the Justice League Super Sewer Baby. Taking the stink out of crime and space aliens, Super Sewer Baby is to the rescue. Batman discovered Super Sewer Baby living in his bat cave and raised and adopted him. Batman taught him how to fight supervillains and built him his own Super Sewer Baby spaceship. That is so awesome. <laughs> Ray, it's sleek. I love the color, the action of it. It's sleek, isn't it? That's great. Okay. Yeah, uh, and, the, and the lines of uh, the lines of grills are really effective as well. All right, let's see. We got okay. Okay, so this should be. Let me see. B B. Now this, I believe, is Cornado's. Am I correct, Cornado? This is yours with the the mech. Um, I really, I really love this. I love the black and yellow color scheme because you know yeah. I like I love working within a very um, sort of small color palette. Yeah. I really like working um, this thing. So there you go, yeah, Cornado. 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 Back Great. on track. Hooray! Well, I think this is also a really good picture. I think it shows the piece really well. It has a neutral enough background you can really tell what's going on. But I love the black and yellow. How can you be more bold than that? Yeah, and then we also we have the forced perspective of our astronaut in the front running away yeah. with the <laughs> mech behind and it makes the mech look so much um, it makes the mech so much look so much bigger. Yeah. And, and that looks like it's a fully posable figure with hinges for joints, right? Yeah. Um, you can set us straight a Cornado, maybe you know. Okay, there we go. Nice work. Uh, well, of course you know. You made it. I said maybe you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, wow. is, this wow. is from Dragon. And, and I think I'm back on track here. Dragon, in the futuristic city of no name, a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton was reanimated by a bolt of lightning. The dino's sole <laughs> mission, destroy everything. Wow. Well, I am a fan of skeleton anything, so yeah. I love this. It's, you know, like, it's like skeleton Godzilla. Well, Skelzilla. It's hard to do 3D <laughs> freestanding figures, too. Um, um, I think it's cool how expressive it is. <laughs> oh, Brickanista, I'm sorry if I left off part of your story. I'm, you know, it's it's oh, funny when I do paragraph. these. I'm in, I'm like I'm shrinking down all of the um, all of the images to the right size, trying to name them by the email they came from, and then I'm copy and paste all of the description into an email, which I can then send to myself. It's kind of crazy. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it, but you know. Now, is there more than what's than what's here in her story? Uh, oh, no, it is. There we go. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I found it. Oh, I did have it here all along. Yay. Uh, so here's the finishing up to the to the Batman story. Sorry. Super Sewer Baby has the ability to walk in space without a spacesuit, so he was called into action to fight off the galactic turd monsters <laughs> who have just breached our ozone. Batman waves goodbye as any proud parent would. Very good. Thank you <laughs> so much. Okay, so... Uh, well, see, see, design, technical ability, and narrative. Right yes. they're all in one piece. Now, I am hoping on this, and I, I I'm, I'm hoping I'm spelling this right. Um, this Whoa. is from. This is from El Basunu. Um, I love the little like. So we've got a Technic brick on the side and some some snow and. I think it looks really cool. I like, the, I especially it, like the tall part. Now there wasn't a description with this one, so I don't really have, um, you know, 
I don't really have the uh, something to tell us what it is, but um, well, I I kind of feel like it's Looney Tunes meets H.R. Giger in Art Deco. I mean, those like those <laughs> wings or, or lines coming back feel very Art Deco to me, and but the head is almost like a xenomorph. That's but great. it's a lot more friendly. Yeah, and it looks that. like he's running away from whatever it is that's come out of it. it looks like so. It looks like maybe it's an ice planet, and there's water. Like it's coming and it's out, coming right? out of the yeah, hole. Yeah, because you can see the the water on both sides. <laughs> Very that's nice. pretty cool. Um, okay, so Cornado, do um, enlighten us uh, on your mech. Did you was it fully jointed? Um, okay, so next up we've got. This is Hooray, lighting. This is an Iron Man. Yes, this is oh, um, Jacob right and chest. Tim Haskins. Um, we built Iron Man's Mark 50 arc reactor, complete with LED lights, a custom stand, and an Iron Man minifigure to top it off. That is super cool. That is pretty sci-fi. That is, and the the fact that you used lights in it, it, it yeah. makes me really happy. Yeah, like, and it's an got a really amazing. nice completed base as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's cool, nice joint project. <laughs> oh, and Cornado says, yes, it's fully jointed. That's Very cool. cool. You can have adventures. Yeah, um, Zarakina says, the Inspiration Fairy never did visit me this week. Well, I will tell you, we'll show you ours in a little bit. But man, we, st I, I mean, humbled. I anyway, I struggled with mine um, really bad. And I, like, I mean, I liked the way it came out, but I, I would also, I don't know. I well, we'll talk about that a little bit, right? Yeah, we can definitely talk about that. Okay, so next up we have, hey, that limiter works. We're not, I feel like we're not deafening people anymore. <laughs> so this is from Jason and it's called Robot Love. Pardon me while I get really <laughs> close here, I wanna look up close. This is called Robot Love, and it's got two robots in love. Aww. And I love the, I love, again, the, the, the color scheme of it, like the all white, it seems very clean, and then they've got yeah. the, the black and, and other colors sort of like alternating, and then there's that little red line in the back. It's yeah, like, it's like a nice pop of color. Well, I like an accent color. You know, it sort of reminds you of how cool all the black and white is in front of it too, rather than it just being like a wall of. It's great. I love the yeah. contrast in it, and it feels very sci-fi. Okay, next up we have. This is from Josh. Star Rosander. Wars. Um, I was watching the last episode, Clone Wars season seven. This is the last scene of the episode. Oh well, now this this could technically be a spoiler. Now, uh -oh. if you haven't seen it yet, I'm not gonna. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not gonna tell the rest of it. But in case people haven't seen it yet, that's um. Yeah. Yeah, so. sorry, sorry, Holly. It's, um, yeah, we have a lot of different image sizes. We're going to try and show them as big as we can. I know on a phone it's pretty yeah, small. Yeah, so, so the problem is with this slideshow, I have to be able to, like, they all have to be the same size. And because people send different size photos, um, it's kind of limited to whatever the size of the biggest one is. So I apologize for that. Uh, there's, I mean, I could. You could do this could for do now. This. There we go. There, I yeah, can do and this. we'll just dynamically yeah. adjust. Them. Yes, I'll adjust every one because I Thank think everybody you, Holly. Should, should get to see it. No, Joshua, no problem, no problem. But I just no, realized as all. I was You're reading great. it again that like, oh, maybe some people haven't seen it. But no problem. This is a really, this is really fun. Really oh, great I love the, the helmets on the ground. And is that? Am I seeing like? This looks like yeah. some serious business has gone gone on here. Who is right in front of Darth Vader? I don't know. We're not going to talk about it. Though. He had a bad just in day. Case. All right. Nice job. So yeah, um, and I will. I'll just adjust these. And sorry, everyone. Uh, it's uh, a little learning as we go. Okay. So <laughs> this is. Um, Okay, this is from Minifigure Genius, and I love, I gotta say, I love this description because it's really hilarious. Um, here's my build challenge for this week. Has the dark side versus the light side in a battle for who has the ugliest ship? <laughs> 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 they are both, they are both pretty bad, but just as they were about to announce the winner, a battle breaks out between Yoda and a stormtrooper. That is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That is the that is the can definition of make it, it work. Now, can Tim you Gunn would be very like proud of you. Weaving that narrative through this piece <laughs> elevated the whole piece. I understand <laughs> what's going on. It's got shades of grease. Yes, <laughs> it kind of does. All right, uh, let's see. That's fun, and I love minifigures. So, 
and we'll push over for many figures. Oh, now, see, what? now this is this was our tallest one, so this is where I run into trouble. I've okay. got to, there we go. We've got to be able to fit that what? on. That's so this cool. is from Liam, our friend, Noobmaster69. The evil corrupter has built a super weapon to target poor playing Jimmy. With the power of air tunnels, that's the circle in the middle, um, at his side, he will destroy Jimmy with all his power, complete with minifig stand control panels. That's Very so nice. fun. I like the use of the colorful one by end plates there. Like it gives it um, sort of action and makes the colors bold. Right, and I well, and I also love that he chose to build upwards. So instead yeah. of like staying here, he built up. I think that's that's really great. Okay, let's see. Moving on. Um, oh, here we go. I'm gonna. Fix this up again, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that is sci fi. Right this there. is hilarious. Shane Levin's whole doorways. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it makes me think of Portal. It's a totally like Portal. It's so good. <laughs> well, and I, so what I love about this is it's really simple. Like, yeah, are those whips? Those are whips. Um, it's got, so it's got nice parts use. <laughs> it's like relatively. Let me see. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20 pieces. Yeah, it's like a 20 piece model. It's hilarious. Like, that yeah. is like good, good storytelling and. And good joke telling. Well, I also <laughs> like. I, I'm getting Albert Einstein from this figure. <laughs> right? Up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to grab my coffee. I'll be right back in a second. All right, let's move on. We'll move on to the next one. And am I going to have to... No, I... Oh, boy, goodness. Here we go. Whoop. So this is from Smushino. Oh, I'm so um, glad I got to join it. It's a pizza speeder, but the pilot seems to be having hard times with his new vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love, I love, of course, the red and yellow color scheme. It always makes some, me kind of think of food, right? Because yeah. McDonald's, and I say that before I get ready to show mine, which has a lot of red and yellow in it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, and look, minifigure legs. That's so clever. Well, the minifigure's there. Like he's no, look. facing downwards. Oh, I see it now. Yes. Oh, look, and there's one on each side. Nice. That's really clever parts usage there. Yeah, m mini fig legs um, are are all the rage right now. Who who just showed us that? They did a challenge that included mini figure legs. I can't remember who told us, but yeah, that's very a colorful. That's a thing going on. Oh, it was Blair Archer. Oh yes, you're right. You're right. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, this is... Oh, I don't think this is... Oh, it is. Um, this is from the Lego vet who uh, we love here on the stream, and she sent us that great nice. like, vet station last time. Um, I'm and a fan of Bionicles. So th his, the name is Eclipse, inspired by the game Portal 2. It is half ice and half fire. Love cool. Portal 2. The, the assembly line for robots got corrupted and fused two different elements together, and now it is on a rampage to destroy the lab that created it. Okay, first of all, I gotta say, I love this because the Lego vet really stretched her building. Like, this is unlike anything we've seen from her before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I love, <clears throat> um, you know, we did some minifigure scenes, and... I, I really, uh, I think it's great. And it's, again, really sci-fi. It's pointy. Like, I always call that kind of pointy stuff kind of Klingon, you know, <laughs> because they always have these weapons with, like, 16 blades. and. Well, it's really, yeah, it's terrific. Really nice. Um, and it's easy to see it against that clean... Okay, so this background. one, y'all, I had to laugh. Oh, I'm sorry, did I take it away too soon? No, 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 not at all. Okay, so... It's a little dark, but this is from Thomas Howard, and Thomas says, Now imagine yourselves as ruling titans of space. Flynn on the right, Thanos, <laughs> Thanos with two robot arms and an infinity gauntlet with a reality stone and a power stone. Wow, you know me so well. That's awesome. You um, have both. Is asserting his dominance over the galaxy. Wow, the galaxy, not just my house? Awesome. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, While Richard, 2015 Hulk with a robot, hand that has a Whoa. thumbs down is disapproving of Flynn's actions. <laughs> Am I really that disapproving? 
You wouldn't not. like me, Mr. McGee. <laughs> You're not. What is it? Don't no. What was that? Don't make me angry, Mr. McGee. <laughs> I know. It's... I love this story. <laughs> oh God, that's hilarious. But I'm going to do my best to become Mr. Thumbs Up. So I, I hope do I that. don't. <laughs> I think we all know that it is. Um, that's great. I'll take. Yes. I'll take that. The Hulk. <laughs> Raw. See, look at those enormous biceps. I am the Hulk. You. You absolutely are the Hulk. <laughs> okay, I'm more Bill Bixby. <laughs> okay, so Yay. we have another. Here is from Wilfred. Oh, who is it? Look who it is. It's it's us, Captain Flynn, uh, Science Officer Richard, and Security Officer Logan. I'll take that. I'll be Science <laughs> that Officer. That is so. That is so <laughs> awesome. Uh, Wilfred says a cookie for the Horta. The Horta is big, but Security Officer Logan's courage isn't small. Captain Flynn tried to connect to the Horta using his live streaming tricorder. There is no way. So Science Officer Richard is now trying to cookie meld with the beast. <laughs> wow. So the Horta was that from was that from the original series? It was, right? It's... Wasn't it Spock and Kirk who had to Wow. So it says, but Red That's Shirt, a great story. But Red Shirt Logan knows that in the end, he's the <laughs> one who's going to get the cookie and chase the Horta like the big squirrel that it is. As you can see, it's based on The Devil in the Dark, a Star Trek, the original series episode. Hooray, That's I thought great. so. I remember the Horta was like this big pile of quilts almost it was and it made a sound when it moved and that he, is yes I love that this is piece. that's hilarious that's right it was like a bubbly quilt thing <laughs> and i love that you use us in your pieces that that's makes me great. so happy it's very fun and i Although love that and you're sporting kind of you have kind of like a picard thing going on oh, oh here, my god but sure. with glasses on i think oh, it's great <laughs> Science officer. And I love that we have the traditional, like, we've got the old school Kirk shirt, and you've got the blue. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. The Horta was half carpet, half meatballs. It kind of was. <laughs> it kind of was. Wilfred, you were right about that. So, I... I think that that is, I mean, that's all I have here. I think that's everything. That's amazing. I, that was that, so thank you fantastic, so everybody. Much. What a great. <laughs> thank you so much for getting so excited about this. We love seeing these, and they're just amazing builds. Yeah, we are like, what a great. Uh, what a great group of builds. Thank you, everybody, so much. That was really fun. And sorry I got that out of order, but I th we got back on track pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, nicely done. I was worried there for a second. Well, you know, I'm not so good with alphabetical order. So. I know. He makes like there that. Um, why don't we share our models? Oh, that's right. That's right. We were going to share our models. Here, you go first. Okay, I'll do mine first. And I don't. Well, I wish that we had an original photo to show of, you know what this looks like, uh, like, you know, what it looks like. Okay, we're in the, uh, we can use the front. Uh, you want well, you can lift it up. Okay, like this. Can you? It'll be easier. Oh, you want me to just, okay, yeah, I'm going to tip the camera down. The camera down. Okay, so. Oh, it's not going to want to, I think you're going to I'll bring it up close, that. like that, there you right? Go. So, it'll be hard to tell what this is without me telling you. This is a micro-scale version of Logan's Run's Carousel. And you can see all of the people whose life clock has run out are in carousel in the middle there. And then all the figures, including Sandman, you can see the little, like, well, where is it? This way, black and gray, or like Sandman. So that's Logan's run. I think that's, that's a pretty, simple automata I think like that. <laughs> Micro scale. Yeah, no. I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, bring that up. Do you think I can? Do you think I can? Yeah, do I don't it. Know if I can. Oh, okay. Here, how about this one? Yes. Oh, right. I'm so glad you can do that. Well, yeah, we'll see how it, it helps. It, we'll right? see how it looks. So there, there. What well, here is? Here is a picture, everyone. This is so silly. Here is a picture of the actual scene from the movie with all of the people catching on fire, and they're in that round. And look, you got the crystal. Look, see, I got I got crystals in the middle and gray around that with black around that. And then I couldn't make circles for all of the people watching them all, you know. I wish. Oh, look, there's a bunch of pictures. There's a whole bunch of pictures. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I created there. It this was is amazing. A great. One, 
one of the most brilliant special effects scenes. All the people flying around <laughs> like, there. And then they are exploding right. in a spark I was, of, of terrible, um, of te like really, really bad green screening going on. And you can even see the, you can see the string. And see where once they're already up in the air, they're all like I think this red one, on the bottom and white on the top. I That's what I think. This one kind of on. shows you the most of kind of what it was based on. Very good. Yeah. I think that's great. So I would consider this a rough draft. Like I want to make a larger version that's not limited to 16 by 16 and have more characters and really smooth geared down motion so they can turn slowly. But I'm I was I'm happy with it. I think you did a great job. Thanks. Um, not so much me. <laughs> well, I don't. Our pieces are very different, Flynn. Yours and mine. They are very different. Challenge. So I decided to go for a minifig vignette, and uh, again, like I struggled so hard with this, um, but in the end, I'm you know somewhat happy with what I made. I think I I like it. So I did this like space scene because I love that um, the vintage spaceman minifig is one of my favorites. It also, I know, is Boone's favorite. So I have him running from all of these weird, like, eye plant monster things. And you can see, I was talking before, I used the um, the seaweed and put some flowers on top of them at, at yep. Richard's suggestion, which I thought was was really fun, so. The color palette was really tough on this one. It was. Finding colors that would go with that figure as well as the red background yeah. was challenging, right? Yeah, let's see if you can... Oh, look, it focused. Okay, don't don't move it around. Oh, it's soft now. Oh, well, anyway. Look at that, you saw him up close. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's fun. I like corner-presented vignettes a lot. Oh, well, actually, while we're talking, I just real quick want to show you. So, again, like, there's always a presentation side. Like, if you look at the back of this, it is so jacked up. Um, I'm going to show you the back. Like, it's super, it's super just kind of like all... <laughs> it has a presentation together. Side. It definitely has a presentation. Oh, side. and it's it, for some reason I can't show blacklight really well on these cameras. Oh as man, as sophisticated as they are, but yeah. all those trans green pieces light up. So when we used our blacklight flashlight on the back of it, it became really like creepy with green <laughs> light, you know, all around. Uh, thanks, Brandon. Uh, thank you for for coming. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Yeah. So so that's what we did and. You know what? I gotta say, I'm very happy with this piece. I would do a lot more with it, or will do when I take more time. But rather than being daunted that I didn't know what I was gonna do, or I didn't have enough time to do just the perfect piece, I made a piece. You did. Sometimes right? you just gotta push through. You just gotta do it. You know, you just gotta push through. Um, let's see. All right. And it was fun, and I love sci-fi. All right, so I think I can pretty much tell you we're not going to get through this today. I don't think we're I mean, are. and unless there's like a huge outcry, we're just going to finish this over the weekend and then show off the uh, the model at the top of Monday's stream. And I was thinking that Monday I know a lot of people were interested in seeing how we made our car from the challenge from the car challenge a couple weeks ago. Oh, how we, we made do it a run. tear down, right? So I think we're going to do a tear down of that on starting off our like we're talking about doing something called Mock Mondays, where we do mocks yep. on Mondays, and then we have an interview day, and then we have two days of build, like actual building and chats, and then yep. we do our Sunday group chat. That's kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking that's what we do. Oh, oh thank Zach you all so much. Thank you so much. The goop. The goop. Insane yes. Lego fan. <laughs> mm. All right, so what's going on here? We are back to building on our um, on our tree. Okay. Um, and these are so handy. Yes, I really like those by Mr. Durschel of Oakland. Um, I know I've said that joke about a thousand times, but it makes me laugh every time. He's like a Hollywood hairdresser. All right, in the fifties. Whoa. All right, so it looks like we're gonna see um, the bottom of that. They had to make these trees sturdy enough that the model can sit on them. And I think they had to have done a, just a ton of design development for that. Absolutely. So I'm gonna, so now we're, we're building oh, up. Put stuff in your way. Sure, do you have a one by one with a clip? Maybe, what, facing which direction? One by one cube with a clip um, that is horizontal. Very cool. 
I'm gonna, maybe I'll go to the close up for this. This one's gonna be a lot of like bouncing back and forth. So there, I'm adding a clip. What great models, that was so much fun. <laughs> I love yeah, doing I them, I love doing those. Um, well, so, such funny stories, too. I think the stories really make it for me. Again and again, I like... It, it doesn't have to be, but I like humor in Lego mocks. Yes. You know, I, it just Agreed. seems time and again, some of the most, you know, fun mocks have a sense of humor. Okay, uh, uh, these guys, and then how about a... Um, it's like an antenna in that smoky gray. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Smoky gray oh, look antenna. At that. They all have a single bubble in the middle. I there love these smoky gray. You're in the bubble. I am in the bubble. I see, you know what? My, <laughs> actually, Drew um, texted me uh, <laughs> this morning or yesterday wondering what episode was it like if we had a key that would tell him what episode um the story of the of linus of the bubble the story of the bubble well it's one of the stranger <laughs> things it is one of the strange <laughs> it's one of those like they all start to blend in um all right so we're gonna need a one by three two one by three black inverse slopes oh, you can stack Three, of course you can stack two please. one by three, three inverse slopes. one by uh, inverse slopes and That's one one gray maybe they're over here with mine oh you've got some too yeah I do have some here they are so here's two and we need one gray dot a gray right dot there. There you go. yeah all right so we're gonna so we where we did these on this side we're gonna do um, the inverse, these inverse slopes on the other side. And the same thing down here. Oh, and we're going to add this dot onto the end of it so that it fits. Um, you can't see it, but there's a little, there's a little space there. Uh, just enough room for one stud where you can fit it in. Although that, there you go. Can you think of a more technically sophisticated non-motorized Lego set? Than this no it's pretty I mean I gotta say this is pretty yeah pretty technical yeah I mean what is it the um, Ninjago City had that elevator right that was, that pretty, was cool. pretty cool oops oh so I love whoa watch out moving everything so I love these inverse curve bricks um, yeah. because I like I always felt trapped with arches um, you know I don't know. That was uh, you felt and, trapped. And I, Did well, you I feel trapped. Well, I felt trapped arches? because I couldn't do an under the round part of yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah. could only do the top part. And well, I always we wanted to. And I'm, I'm so glad that these pieces exist. Well, I've made complete circular Whoa. windows that way before. Isn't um, no the door to bag end is not done that way. The door but to bag end, right? Yeah, a half arch and a half inverse arch. You can, there you can make a full circle. Check it out. So we've got, yeah, that's on. The, they have that in the, um, I believe, in the Chinese New Year dinner thing that we have. Oh, right. I believe that's they have that in there. All right. So check it out. I yeah. added these two, the those key. two um, upside down inverse curves. All right. Wow. And, it, and it's locked in right there. It's locked in with. Is that a pinned uh, axle? Uh, yeah, we, th yeah, that's the, the whole pin to axle thing. All right, so could you do one nice. brown branch? Oh, that was so, like, and before I was here. Yeah. <laughs> one brown <laughs> branch and one blue branch, and you're going to, there you go, and you're going to need two wrenches. Hey, my system is all broken down. Oh, right? nope, right here. Two wrenches. Since it's, it's your system, you, you know where things are. All right, are. so you're going to put one wrench in the pointy end of the blue, of the blue one. All right. And then you're gonna put, uh, oh, you have to flip it upside down, sorry, and then put the wrench in. There you go. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other one, but it's gonna be at the end, at the stem yeah, end. Yeah, the stem end. There you go, the stem end. All right, and now we're going to add. Oh, just like the instructions right here. Yeah, we're gonna add these branches on. Check it out. Nice, just rounding things off while they're able to maintain that flat bottom. Yeah. Tricky. There you go. There you go. So yeah, you can and you can sort of arrange these branches. Look at that great shape. And of course, set. Now we know why we're using the Unikitty tiles is because they are the thing that are that is supporting. Like it's what the flat right. part that you can put. 
That is really sturdy. That is pretty cool. And I'm cool. sure there's going to be more pin to axle action going on here. Okay, then we need two one by two dark brown plates stacked on top of each other, and then two black cubes stacked on top of each other, and then those two cubes are attached to the plates. Oh my goodness, you used all those words. I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason Seacrest, welcome. How's it going? Um, we've got uh, Stranger Things going here. We're going to add on to this side now. We're starting to, you can see that we're starting to cover up that Technic beam with all of these pieces. Yeah, but what an interesting choice they did to make that gray. Like, why wouldn't they just make it black? Ooh, we're getting ready to make it. a crazy piece. All right, so we need one of the Unikitty tiles, okay? Where I saw them here. One of your favorite little one by two plates with the rounded edges. Oh, okay. Like here. In, um, in a blue branch. branch. And an inverse, uh, an, another inverse uh, curve. Oh, and then one of those, um, one of those uh, dark gray, or sorry, the, the trans black or smoky gray antenna thing. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Okay, let me see this picture here, please. I just can't see this. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I see. Here, right? That That's box. tight. Oh, there we go. There go. Look and at that. You're going to put that on top? Like sticking off? No, I think it's all on all three. And it locks them together. They Very can't pull apart. And then you also need a black seaweed, which are over there with the rest of the plants. It looks like the third branch. There you go. Very nice. And then that another one of those little antenna things. That goes in um, like over here. Back here. Yeah, oh, we're doing it off camera again. There you go. There. See? And that, no, actually that gets put in from underneath and pushed all the way up. So it's sticking all the way up. Like oh, I that. see. Mm -hmm. Just like the picture right there. There we go. And then see? you'll see where we left this piece, this open. Um, Yep. So now oh, so they're getting I'm, levels. Uh, yeah, so I'm attaching this to here. And yeah, you can see now I'm getting different levels of branches. And this they is left so this, brilliant. They left the stair step open to have more light come through the tree. Makes it more branchy shape. Okay, let's see. All right. Uh, wait, did I get did we get past all that? Yes, yeah. we did. Inverted house with three studs used as the neck in unique Yes. Um, okay, so oh, thanks, many One check. of these axle. Oh, I think I see what's going on here. Okay, one of these. So over here, we remember over here that we built up this. We have this brick with an axle hole. Pray. We are making an identical one on the other side, so that we can take this. Um, we say it has like a nail end on it, right? Like that's kind yeah. of what we call it. A nail. This. Uh, sorry. This axle with a nail end, and we're going to push it through both of those bricks. So now the whole thing is clamped together, and it's not going anywhere. Yeah, like and now it, this isn't going to fall apart. Yeah, I used uh, those um, axles with the stopper end on it, um, the sort of nail shape, in yeah. my simple 90-degree rotation mechanism for my mock. Right. Um, okay, Can't so we're looking for a ever. black hot dog. Two brown branches <laughs> and and a Unikitty tile. I'm just gonna call them the Unikitty tile because it's super. Do you have the brown super branches? Easy. What now? Brown branches. Oh, Thomas Howard. I'm so, uh, I'm sorry I'm late. I hope you like my build. We did. We looked at all of them. Yeah. They were great. We even went a little bit. Uh, had to go a little bit later today. Uh, what's going on? Um, I'm looking for brown. Oh, there's brown branches there. And there's the there's the tile. Oh, it looks like two brown branches, please, sir. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the sausage in the middle of this, and then I'm gonna do a. This is brilliant. So I'm gonna do one uh, one branch here. Yeah. And is there another branch? Yep. And another branch. So Look at this. Smart. So now you can actually get a cr like branches that are pointed in different directions. I'm absolutely going to use that idea. Branches uh, uh, so sausages must way. come in brown as well, right? They come in they come in a bunch of different colors. Like a bunch of sort of earth tones. There's colors. even sand green ones. 
So check that out. I think that is so that's cool. That's pretty smart. So cool. And then that's going to go over here on the upside down portion. And it's connected to here. Right? So now I have these two branches. Look at the great shape they're already getting out of that. I just think that's so clever. Smart. Um, all right. So, okay. And smoky. now we're looking for another one of the, um, the, the smoky gray antennas. A one yep. by one cube. And uh, now you have the inverse slope. Yep. A one by one cube. And a one by one um, cube with a cl with horizontal a clip, clip on the side. And actually, I have the large inverse um, curve. Oh, and there's the small one. And one of these. Oh, here's one. Oh, okay. Um, we're a little. I don't yet see the. There's Which with the clip. So the clip goes. Wow. Let me see. It goes Wait, underneath. Yeah, the clip goes underneath. Underneath. And then you're going to do up. facing and pointing up. Upside down. Uh -huh. Like that. Like that. And then it's going to go. Where here, you can put it on. Sorry, I'm going to turn this around so I know what's going on here. There's that. It's going to go on this side. Here. Oh, those don't line up. No, it goes this way. Oh, that lines up. Right, like that, and then one of those, like, curve pieces goes Whoa. here. Whoa. We are going to have to order some of these parts in bulk, because I don't want to take this model apart, but I want to use those parts. Like those smoky gray antennas yeah, are pretty amazing. Exactly. Those and the black seaweed. All right, so now we're going to do two, uh, two dark brown plates, one on top of the other. Two dark brown plates. A couple of inverse. And then we're going to add those on and like a, yeah, so that the wings are sticking out. Oh, this is different. Oh, is that the wrong one? Oh, this is an actual arch this time, an actual half arch. And then you're going to fill in the middle with a bla with black logs. Oh, yeah, I like those. And directly on palisades top. Palisades brick. Yeah, palisades brick. And then two black cubes, one on either end. And then the brown, uh, uh, it looks like the brown with the axle hole in it. Again, oh, my they're, goodness. they're using... Technic, you know, in a really smart way here. Okay, that, and then we're gonna get hole. four of the the new. They're new pieces. They're one by one with a with a rounded thing on the top. Oh, like a almost like a half barrel or something. Um, right? Yep, that way with like, a little mailbox. You can see like that. <laughs> and then you're gonna do two on each end. Pretty cool. I wonder if that was new for uh -oh. this set. I don't know. In this color. I'd be interested to find out how the the kind of negotiations that Lego designers have to do to get, you know, printed bricks versus a brick in a new color. Um, so there you go. It attaches onto here like this. Wow, it's really... Now, if we get to this end of this instruction and it says times two, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so back to another little piece. We got a, oh, I can do this Palisades brick. What do we got there? Oh, you need three one by two brown plates. Yeah. One one by two dark brown with an axle hole. Yeah. You're gonna need two of the of the black one. Uh, what did I, I guess they're called two by one. Um, with the two snot pieces on. Um, do you have those over there? I may well. Let's take a look. I gotta move this thing out of the way. Um, I do. Here's what, one. What is going on with this? And here is... Well, start with that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it says times two. No! Well, you know what? That, um, that's, if it's times two, we we'll will absolutely finish screen. the other tree. Um, and then we'll do the, like, we'll just do the very, very end of the build um, next time. We could have been doing this together the whole time. Wait. So I got this wrong. I'm mm -hmm. trying to do. So it goes. Got these two. plate, palisades brick, tall brick. We need one more of these tall bricks. One more tall brick? Yeah. Oh, you mean two the by, tall by one. pieces? Yeah, I was looking over here for it, and I one of them was over here. There's the other one. Okay, the studs forward. I'm gonna build from yep. the top down, and then we've You're got such a rebel. this. And then on top of this, we've got wait, the, yeah, is and then that I'm, one and then a. Yep. This. Oh, I'm. Con no, that's right. 
So that's two plates. Two, that's two plates and, and then this. a brick on top of it. Mm -hmm. All the dark brown and black blend together. All right, here we go. So we're going to, well, at least, you know, I think this is great. So, because at least you got to see one of the trees being built and it probably would have been boring to watch too. So, and look, once again, I'm going to connect this on here. Oh gosh. I'm going to yeah. connect this here. And it keeps being and attached to this Technic. Now structure. I've got another place where I've got um, an axle across. We're assuming that's what's next. And it's what's next. It's what's next. Of course. We're and gonna make sure you and we're gonna use this to put it in here. Right. Nice. All right. Like rivets. Okay, so we're gonna do now a one by four black palisades brick. I got that there. Two dark okay. gray corners. I had a bunch of those that I was stacking. Here we go. You were stashing them. Okay. Um the, oh, oh, those and funny little corner, corner pieces. I never thing. know what to call this thing. It is, here I think we go. you have it. It's this weird piece that has like the corner shaved off of it. Yeah, I, I don't know. know what you would, would you call that a <laughs> two by two corner brick? I'm sure someone, someone here, here if Joshua Gay is here, he will absolutely know. Uh, brick and Eastead, uh, uh, mini, mini fig, fig chick. chick. Oh wow, you had to snap names. your fingers for that one. Sorry, mini fig no, chick. No, sometimes I have synapses zapping. <laughs> well, I'm a little coffee. Cut tile. Well, but it's not a tile. It's a. It it's is a, a brick. brick thick. Um, okay. Maybe a cut brick. Maybe it is a cut brick. All oh, right. we're gonna need Putting some these? dark red. Or is that just brown? I think that's brown. Regular, tiles. Regular one by two tiles. There's one of them. All right, so we're building up like a little shape here, <laughs> and then we're gonna no, but like the, uh, it's a different shape than usual. One oh, by two a brown plate. Balls. One by two brown plate. There no. it is. Yep. Is it or a dark brown it, plate? Wait, sorry. Do you have those uh, toe balls? Um, the, I think the they they hinge? will likely be in here. There, one mixels hinge, two mixel hinge. Okay, so we're, we're gonna need a dark orange. Now you can see now we're switching over from the um from the upside down to the right side up, and then we're and we're switching color schemes now. So we're looking for a dark orange. Uh, here we go. Most of the up most of the right side up pieces, I tried to keep them in color. I didn't do a great job, but that. Another place to clamp. Oh, of it course. Together. And then we've got more Unikitty plates because we're gonna build two right side up trees. So is there a one by four dark orange? There we go. I love this color, by the way. This is dark a orange? favorite, a favorite color of well, mine. I know I've mentioned it a couple times, but I've loved that color especially since Bricks Cascade when we saw that sort of butte, you know, canyon. Yes. Oh, that was built amazing. all in the dark colors. All right, so we made this piece with this, and now I made this little right side, um, the, the right side up. <laughs> like that. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> um, so I'm flipping it over. We're at 1130 now, and we've got a whole tree to build here. Should we, we build can, this tree? Well, let's finish. Let's see how far we get in the next right. 15 minutes. Um, right. I'm, you know, if we can get one tree, because this is both trees we're looking at. If we can get oh, one tree right. done and show everybody that, I'll feel good about having, um, cool. you know, done that. Two quarter, two corners, sorry, two dark gray corners. Mm, I gotta separate out this. Yeah, I think that's a here. that one's a little too a little too much Skittles. You know what? Right. I think too much is turning into Logan. <laughs> <laughs> too much Logan. Too much. He was going back and forth yesterday from Flynn to me. He would like oh, get he was super needy from yesterday, Flynn and then go immediately to me at my desk and get attention. And he went back like four times before we figured <laughs> out what was going on. I know. I was just like, why isn't he? He's usually hanging out in his bed. All right. So another one of these dark oranges. Wow. Okay, so check this out, y'all. This is going to actually... So I've made this. It's got a hole, right? And this is going to go on top like this. Oh. And it slides down. So that... And it's no, upside down? that's not right. Down? It's upside no. down okay. this way. Whoa. So it slides on here and connects. No. Okay. There. And then those... Those plates are just resting against that. They're like a millimeter away. Yep. 
Yep. So or the one by one rounds. Yeah, so for we sure. Just used, they just use this Technic brick to start building upside down now, right? Or right side up, depending or right on side how you up. look at it. Okay, so we're going to do. Which side are we on? It's oh, look. This one. And we're going to get another one of these nails. Yep, I got it right here. I'm going to push it through again. All right? I'm going to remember this. Yay, you made it to the stream. <laughs> nice. Uh, we are having a great day, the Mowgli. We're having an awesome day. The Mowgli, build that tree. Build that tree. Well, what's that? Boil I, that dust speck. What are you talking that. about? No, the, Mo <laughs> the Mowgli is, is um, giving us encouragement. Oh, very good. I love that. Oh, so another I mean, technic I, structure. Yeah, so we're doing another one of these. Ask for bricks and I will bring them to you. Okay, a dark All brown, over here. a long dark brown brick, or a longer dark brown brick. Plate? Plate, sorry. And a longer regular reddish brown. Mm -hmm. Or this. Which one I longer? I think it's this, the big longer one. The longer, longer one. Oh, that would make this the shorter one. <laughs> And another Thank one you of those. so much for putting the Logan's Run image <laughs> up on the screen, right? It makes so much more sense with <laughs> the picture of what it actually is. All right. <coughs> Which would not have been viewed favorably by Brickmasters Amy and Jamie because they say you should know what it is just, just by, by looking, looking at, at it. it. It's true. But, you know, but I think it was a stretch. Micro scale can be a I stretch. Think when it's, I think you get a pass on that one. Why? Because it's our show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, also, also because you know it's a it's a way to learn more. I learned a bunch of stuff building that, and um, I want to pursue it more. This is so confusing. All right, I think here this I'll actually. The piece. I think this actually goes down here. You want some help? I think I got it. And then a longer brown, uh, oh, another one of those um, dark brown plates. The long one. <laughs> you show your rules. It's true. <laughs> so look, now we've built. So we built the upside down tree, and now we're going to build the um, the right side up tree. And I think that we can. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It is eleven thirty eight. Well, we're just gonna keep going. We can do a lot of stuff. Well, we do have. We also do have an appointment um, at noon. So we need to make sure that we are ready for All that right. appointment. Oh, that's right. I remember. Uh, yes. Okay. It's true. Look at that. Nice. So, so I can't actually see the instructions, so you're going to have to ask me for things. Okay. How about um, two inverse slopes? They're brown inverse slopes. You have yes. those. Oh, there's, I do have there's them. There's one. And there's the other one. All right. So if I'm holding it this way, according to the instructions. Way, whoops, hard. sorry. Oh. Uh, there. If I'm holding it this way... Is that right? I always have to hold it the same direction. Yeah, they go up no, here. No, it's not. No, look, you're 180. There, the studs are on this side. Yeah, I put this piece on. This piece has gone on wrong, I think. Backwards? Um, yeah, it's meant to go the other, the other you, way. You gotta take your nail out. No. Oh, right. <laughs> There's a reason that they put these nails in here. And let's uh -oh. use another axle to push it through. Look at you. There's something that you... Well, that's not Look, an axle, I, but... Yes. It's not an axle, but it'll work. There we go. Thank you for the reminder, and thank you, instructions, for showing me where I screwed up. That's going to come apart. Yep. Wait, it feels like it's still locked in somewhere, but I can't figure out where. You sure? It feels I don't that th way. I don't think it's locked in. Go on the oh, other side. Oh, I you think you're plates. right. It's just a lot of clutch power. Look, turn over this way. Mm -hmm. This guy should just slide up. Yep. But I don't want to force it. Obviously, you know, maybe there's a connection we're unaware of. What? Why don't we look at the instruction there? What's like, going on? Did that, <laughs> like, all of a sudden, it was well, like we've diverged. Did this undernail connect? Mm-mm. Okay. No, there's something holding there that. There is something holding it, and I don't know what it is. Oh, it's these. Okay, I see it now. It's these plates right here. Oh, that you just put on there. Of course, they're covering the track. Okay, so we're going to have to take off all these pieces. See, it takes a village. Or at least, you know, two people. <laughs> 
It takes two people who don't know it what's going on. It's a very doing. small team. There we go. So all of those. Yeah, all that had to come off. And it's wanting to catch. You can just, just take this plate off. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Zoop. Oh, wow. That well, was, all that. that. Was a close one. All that for that. Okay. There we go. Back on track. Mm -hmm. Camera zoom in. No, 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 no. Perspiration. No. Perspiration on the upper lip. <laughs> Clock ticking down. Oh, it's funny. Okay, now it's don't true. miss a step. I'm not going to. I'm hoping to do this correctly, everyone. All right. This goes on first down low. Nope. Down low? No, the, that's the outside. The inside is like this. Oh, I see. We've got an inside. And then we and then we switch it to this to this way on the oh, other side. It's overlapping. Overlapping, overlapping, overlapping. It's nope. like the thing that I teach all my students. There you go. Are you feeling PTSD just a little bit? <laughs> um, well, and we've got a giant digital clock sitting right next to the computer here, but I didn't turn on all of so our. So we are well aware of. Our feature alarms today. There we go. Okay, we're back. We are okay, back, look, friends. We're gonna get a. Is that a cheese wedge? That's it, a cheese it wedge. It is a cheese. It is in fact a cheese but wedge. But it's light brown, not dark brown, because we're in the. You right mean side reddish up. brown? Reddish brown. Is there? There's not a color called light brown, is there? I think the dark brown long slopes. Is that what it is? It, is it Nathan it is. Hagen who made the graphic of all the Lego colors? Here we go. Yes, and it was I really want awesome. I that as a T-shirt. It's so beautiful. It's like a, um, almost like the table of the elements, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. careful there. One of these. Pal. All right, pal. Look at that. Okay, pals. If you get that reference, then you are a huge nerd in certain ways. All right. Really? I, I get, it's quaintance for you, see? It's oh, they're lovely. Uh -huh. Oh, they're lovely. What? What's that? What was from the Bud's about? Bunny cartoon. It was like mobsters. It was like, who's the guy? Uh, oh, yeah, it was uh, Muggsy and then Ro like Edward the, G. Robinson. The little short guy with the giant hat. Like the he had like a huge hat on. And Bug says it's curtains for you, and he puts like kitchen curtain rod on his head with curtains, and he says, "Oh, they're lovely." <laughs> My favorite Bugs Bunny will always be. Well, of course you know Bugs Bunny like always putting I bet on I crazy know. costumes, always doing drag. Okay, I which bet one? I know this one. Which one do you think it is? Um, the one with sw not Sweetums. What's his name? What's his name? The Sweetums creature? is the Muppet, yeah. No, the creature with the big, with with the... I do love that. Actually, there, I gotta say there's three. See, I right, never with the Converse. One. He's a creature with Converse high tops. Yes, the one and where... And Bugs Bunny is, um, <laughs> is in the castle, the spooky castle, with the, with the mad scientist, and acts like a hairdresser. <laughs> And that's how he it's escapes. My stars, <laughs> monsters are the most interesting, interesting people. Don't and then he gives think... him a manicure, and then he like does his hair in like various <laughs> like ways of the. But yeah, and then the monster figures out and gets mad. Of course, um, one of the things I love is do you have a short brown half arch? Short brown half arch inverse and two like brown that? cubes. Um, so, that, so that one, and I really love the original. <laughs> oh, I really we actually love the... have a picture, a faded picture. Oh, it's a, it's been a magnet on my fridge forever. Um, is it still there? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I thought we took it down when we, no, the last super, time we. It's super faded. Yeah, it's big time faded, but there he is, Gossamer. That's his name. His name is Gossamer. So I like that one, and then I really love the original. Um, the original Red Riding Hood, the one they did, like it's a super <laughs> older one, and it, it, like, and it's because the the wolf is dressed up in grandma's clothes, and then they start singing a song, and he like lifts up the dress and like, like tapping his foot <laughs> on your old <laughs> gray bonnet, bonnet with the blue. <laughs> yes, he's very like it's, it's so dumb. You know that would be fun to pull out since it looks like we're gonna be here for a little while longer. Oh, the Warner um, Brothers! I have collection? the Warner Brothers collection DVD, and it has yes. that on there. Yes. And um, 
I hope it has my Pete friend, Puma as well. My friend Jim, Jim and I used to just laugh endlessly over that one. And yeah, of course, all the other one too. The bar, the the um, the Rabbit of Seville is great, and I really love. Um, you got, oh, it's those two. There's one particular one, and I don't remember the thing. So there's two like hill, like barefoot hillbillies, and they're trying to, um, uh, uh, they're trying to, you know, of course, trap Bugs Bunny, and then he somehow like gets them into a, like g gets in drag and then lures them over to there a seems square to dancing be a theme development well here. hello <laughs> and then he's, a, he, he's in drag and he he convinces them to go to like a square dance and then he like gets out of drag and then dresses up like the caller and then starts doing the calls. Crazy so calls the two, though. So the two hillbillies are dancing together and his calls are all basically inciting them to beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's when really your partner goes wrong really fast. Yes, it does. Here, look, I started a thing. Oh, very cool. I think these are dark brown, though, honey. Oh, you're right. So look, I started it in... We'll you know, I'm going to get a reputation on here, but <laughs> in my defense, the instructions are on the other side of Flynn's arm and often underneath his arm, so I'm putting together clues here. Putting together clues. Well, I think so. Somebody said that they that they will stand by um, the opinion that um, uh, sorry, who's that Bugs is greater than Mickey. And I have to say they're very different characters. And as much as I love Disney, I have to say I kind of agree, only because you know he was so sassy. <laughs> well, I think yeah, I got it. Well, I they're very it. different characters. I mean, Bugs is hip, right? He's hip, he's snarky, he's always getting one up over, um, you know, on Elmer Fudd or Daffy Duck, where Mickey has no guile whatsoever, right? He's like, just like, Mickey, hey! Mickey is not I love sarcastic. Him for, I love he's him like for a, being happy, though. I'm down Mickey with that. I think Mickey is more like a five-year-old, <laughs> right? And, yeah. You know, and Bugs is more like, there we go. You know, he's snarkier. <laughs> Fact, is there a Disney here. equivalent to Bugs Bunny? Oh, uh, well, I mean, kind. Well, not really Donald Duck. I don't mm. know. He's sort of like no, a Donald, combination. Donald has rage issues. <laughs> 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 All right, look, we're looking for those cheese wedges again. So, okay, what uh, kind it, of cheese wedges? Uh, dark brown. Dark brown uh, cheese here wedge. And by the way, there I want go. about I a gazillion of them. Can I just say that? I want like a zillion of them. Yeah, well, I can, when you get down to cheese that. wedges, that's when you need to be thinking in the 500s. All right, so remember we built in these, um, oh. these snot pieces here, How and now they? we've decorated this piece that it's going to go right again, like How covering out. How dare they? You know, nice. for, for anyone who saw um, Lego Masters um, on the bridge challenge, um, Tyler and Amy owed a lot of strength in their bridge to doing exactly this, yeah. attaching plates on the outside of things to lock them together. Okay, so we're going to do uh, so many sub-builds. A tall brick, a dark orange 1x2 plate. Okay. Um, Here, I'll put it together. Sure, a brown brown logs, brown 1x2 logs. Got it. Topped with a 1x2 topped with a one by two Wait, dark i'm sorry brown logs not dark brown logs yes brown right. logs okay dark brown plate one by two and a, a dark orange one by two and that's gonna no, go there's another brick on top of it oh yeah, yeah the, the one the dark brown once one again the dark one by two with the axle hole in it so that we're gonna again like lock it in lock it all in so there is fits right on top this is so cool. I gotta say, this Super is one of the, smart. the really cooler designed pieces I've seen. Like, there's so I can only imagine how much must have gone into this. Yeah, these trees are like. Well, I mean, imagine you're a designer. Uh, excuse me. Imagine you're a designer at Lego, and you have to tell your boss that you want everyone to turn the model upside down. <laughs> right? Like that probably took a a pretty serious proof of concept. I don't know. And I mean, the, the Justin Ramston said that these trees weren't the original. Like they considered multiple different options. Right. Well, I think I think this was super smart. All right. So we need a brown half arch and two brown cubes. Is that right? Oh, on this side, yes. Okay. So we're gonna do. 
here. And, it, and you can see now, if I hold this here, you can see that I, we're mimicking the tree. Oh. This one had that, and this one has this. But of course, there are little, you know. Yep. Look, this is studs up, and this is. This is studs up this way. Is it blowing your mind, I mean? <laughs> well, it's the inver it's those inverse arches. That's it's why those, we've got that. Is that an inverse arch right there? That's yes. not. That's a normal arch that studs oh, up. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. It's funny. There's a lot of. Okay, here we go. Going. We're gonna grab a bunch of parts. All We're right. gonna grab this. We're gonna grab a one by two or brown log. We're gonna grab one green olive green dot. All right. A dark gray corner. Got it. Two brown rounded plate with bar. Um, one one by two dark brown plate, and a one by two with the with the hole. Okay, look, I'll put this together. Uh, let me see how. Yeah, make sure you got it in the camera there. I always forget. It's so easy to go, especially in the close up view. It's so easy to go off. Two cubes, and there you get your. Uh, your well, brick with the axle. There. I know it's it's very hard to see. Okay, we've got that. Uh -huh. and, and then now you're gonna do one. Which direction does that go? I can't really see with the glare. So one goes that direction, and the other one goes the other direction. Oops. And then that's sort of Yoda, yes. Yoda green there. Yoda green is. I'm gonna start calling it Yoda green mm -hmm. now. Yoda green. Okay. Cool, so we've made this whole little branch section. And once again, it's gonna come up here. Let me see, which side are we putting it on? We are putting it on the side that has this on it. And this slides, you can see that they left a gap. This slides right down in there. How dare they? I know. Right? The sheer, the nerve of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny Toon Adventures was great. I loved that show. Yeah, me too. Okay, so arch. Oh, we're going to basically do a similar thing. An arch, one by two log. Yeah, let me see this. Okay. Two cubes. Here, why don't we pull all the parts first, and then we'll No, I want to do it the chaotic way. Yeah. And then a dark brown <laughs> plate. Wait, this goes this way, uh -huh. right? This way, dark yep. dark brown plate is there. Yep, and then a dark orange plate. And then a green branch, and I love this color. And then your, your, oh, your is dot is it a dark green here. branch? Yes. Hang on, you have a Yoda green dot here. Got that there, there. And, and then, then there's a got tile, a, green a dark tile. green tile. Look at those. It goes nice across. Th Look how locked in that is. No longer do we have to make super fragile trees that fall over, because Lego is making sturdy branches. All right. So, and I say that as someone who's made lots of really fragile trees. <laughs> right, and then you touch it, or you, you take go. it to a Zoop. con, and you have to rebuild it from Look scratch. Look at that. Look where we're at with this. I am. This is. I gotta say, this is a very exciting model. Now, right. you you had that experience with Two Snake Queen, these. right? What was that? Any? Um, of building some fairly fragile branch structures. He made this canopy. Oh, it was a whole canopy. Canopy over the cave that needed to be built all in order, like shingles, and then in transit, it would all crunch and then have to be reassembled at the con. Two and that was part of why it took much. eight hours. Yeah, it took set eight up hours piece. to set up that thing. My yep. goodness. And okay, we did we it like another what, nail three times? Do we okay. set it up three times? Maybe four by the time we put it in our house. Oh my goodness, time. let's see. Oh, okay. So here we go. I don't even see. There it is. And it's hidden on this side. You might call oh, you it, would call the, it hidden the hidden side. side. We need two Yodas. I'm just going to call it a Yoda now. Two Yodas. And what, a Yoda is now a is one, now the, a uh, one by one round olive green plate just is, for is this, a Yoda. Just for this set. <laughs> really? Not forever? I think maybe forever. Who knows? Well, maybe a two by two. Okay, how about this? A two by two round plate would be a Yoda, and a one by one round plate would be a baby Yoda. Okay, we do have a commitment in five minutes. It's true. Uh -oh. I don't know. Noob Master, are you still here? Um, oh, yeah. Because if you're still here, then you can tell us whether we can keep going or not. <laughs> Um, okay, so we need a one. To Paul Sinison is here. Uh, hey, Paul. We need a two by two brown plate, 
and one of these guys. Two by yeah, two brown Paul, plate. I'm right with you. I remember. We got to rush now. This is a. Well, gonna... we may not finish this. Let's see. Five minutes. Are you trying to finish the whole book? No, I'm trying to finish this tree, if we can. Okay. Okay. And then, and then I'm putting this here. Thing. Right. Remember, we were looking for. This is one of the very first pieces we put on on the other side. Oh, uh, it's not seated down. Oh, you're right. Okay. We need the a unikitty tile, a black sausage, and two green branches. Black sausage right there. I never would have thought. And these are the small of green hot dogs branches. as a technical part. The small green branches, the bright green. Okay. All right. So we got this. Oh, We're doing just this making this a copy trick again. Of what we did. Yep. I am so in love with this like hot dog idea. That's great. I'm just super psyched about it. All right. So where does this go? Oh, on the. Upside, I was working right? on the right side up, upside down. There we go. There's our little branch. Wow, we have to get a bunch of that piece, too. Ooh, we're okay. almost done. We're down to four steps, y'all. All right, I need two wrenches and two... Look, I'm just going to stand silver? this up. They're Whoop. silver wrenches, Yeah, two right? silver wrenches and two bright green branches. All right, there's one. Do they go in the bottom side of them like that? And you can see that I built in those little pieces again with a Carefully, little bar. They can't Oops, see. Oops, sorry. Those right there with a little bar. And we're doing that same thing again where we're putting a wrench. We're throwing a wrench in the works. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're not quite on camera there. Oh, sorry, everyone. And then there should be one more of those. Right. Sorry it's out of focus, but you can make out what it is. Right? Da -da -da -da. Imperial. Here, come here. And then we need two like more dark branches. And two more wrenches, please. Okay. One. We're so close, everybody. We're going to get this darn tree done. Two. <laughs> Turning us back this way again. Okay. I'm always demonstrating stuff like on game shows, but I feel like people want to see Oops. the parts. All right. Now we're going to look at this side, and this is going to go here. Here, let's stay back here. Oh, sorry. And then there's another one. Oh my God. Here, I will hold the piece. Sorry. You put the things on. I'm trying to. We can rotate it. I'll support it. Yeah, and it, this way. Wow, this is very confusing. Oh, I see, I see. So this is actually this. There we go. And then if we flip over to the other side. There's, I think, one. Wow, I'm very confused. Okay. Sorry, everyone. I need to. Here, we'll catch up in a second. I need to see this. Well, use. Look. Oh, that I see. That spaceship part is yep. your. Or chassis part. I don't know. The, the trapezoidal plate with a 2x2 two two cutout. You didn't see me do that, everyone. That was an illusion. You did not see it. Okay, there. So there, there, and then we have a. There we go. That's there, how you sort it out. There. This is confusing, I gotta say. And then we're gonna clip another branch. There. Well, this doesn't really have a presentation side, right? I mean, I guess this is the back with these balls here, but for the most part, it's a 360 tree. Okay, we need three Yodas. Are they are they baby Yodas? These are baby Yodas. Yeah, three baby Yodas and a microphone. No. <laughs> I don't even think <laughs> I am just I don't know what to say about that. Well you yeah, it's probably best. Alright, so it looks like now I'm adding a branch. I'll and a dot. I'll, I'll do an interpretive description. He's holding the tree in his oh, hand. Sorry. A baby Yoda. So placing a baby Yoda onto a stud near to a green branch. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get this done for y'all. All right. And then we're going to add these green branches. And then we're going to lock them in with Unikitty plates. Right? Check it out. No, we're going to lock them in with dark green tiles. One by threes. Yep. Let's... Am I wrong? Look, actually... There's nope. one of those, but okay, there's so also some longer goes, sticks. We're going to put on a... There we go. Look at that. That's locking all of that down. A stick. 
a stick as we like to call them as we call them a one by n and plate. then a one by n plate goes here look at that right. and then here for the people who want to see and focus oh look at that yeah there there you go and there's our tree roughly mirrored roughly mirrored. the branches aren't but the the trunk structure is okay like this a... is the last step of the trees y'all so i'm my on for my last step on the trees i'm just putting these three tiles one two uh where does it one go here it's like a christmas tree stand <laughs> three okay let's fluff out this branch a little bit there we go so check that out, everybody. There is our upside down and regular side up business tree thing. Look, it's the Go-Go's. Wait, it's the Cure. It's the Go-Go's. It's the Cure. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun on the building. I'm cat, sorry, everyone. <laughs> All right. This is so great. We're going to finish this model and then show them the finish. Yeah, model, so we'll finish right? the other tree this weekend. We'll show everybody the model on Monday, and then we'll be doing a breakdown of our um, of our car mock from the um, from the uh, the last challenge. Which so, so thanks everybody for sending in your awesome oh, sorry, challenge, uh, your awesome challenge photos. Like what a fun time, what a great time, everybody. <laughs> I don't disapprove. Um, I wasn't <laughs> disapproving. I was laughing at the ridiculousness of it. Um, so don't forget everyone that this Sunday we are having on Mother's Day we are having our all female uh, builders panel um, if you have any questions that you'd like us to ask them please go ahead and send it to Flynn at trickybricks.com that's actually a way that you can contact us with questions and all that good kind of stuff just you like that <laughs> uh, you can also follow us on Instagram if you're not already at tricky bricks um, and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it super helps us out it's um, it, you'll get notifications when we're going live all that good stuff so if you haven't subscribed already please do and then if you want to send us a postcard or uh, fan art or whatever through the mail you can do that at Flynn and Richard PO box one one five one seven Oakland, Oakland, California, 94611. <laughs> and I just got to say, we've got Levin here with her perfect knot wig. And her blurry, on. her and, perfect knot wig. And then she's got her arms up I and she's it. tipping her head down and the Demogorgon is flying out of the way and Levin wins. So if you all want to uh, support the stream, you can do that through Patreon, Venmo, or we also have a Redbubble store that where we're selling like mugs and t-shirts and stickers and that kind of Red thing. Redbubble's mostly because we want those things for us. I know, and it's kind of true. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, that is obviously not a necessity. Just if you, if you feel like it, no, that's no, awesome. No. If not, we love seeing everybody here all the time. Free, so, fun, safe place to hang out. Again, we won't be here tomorrow, and I'm sorry that the little ending screen that's about to come up says, see you tomorrow at 10, but you won't see us tomorrow at 10. You will see us Sunday at 10 for our Mother's Day show. Um, I'm so excited. We've got some really fun guests coming up. So, yep. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash, wash your hands, hands, and we will see you next time. All right. Bye, Bye everyone. Happy building. Have a great two days. <laughs>